Oh, what the hell? Yes, sign into that one. Yes. Yes. Yeah, good. Sign into that one. Hey guys, this is Brandon Alexander with Killer Instinct. We are live here at Ultra Arcade. We are live with Battle for Outworld. This is our Killer Instinct, KI, MK, all the games. This is our monthly for all the the, uh, the cool games that are out right now. Excuse me, I'm a little tired from running this tournament all day long. Um, great Marvel Final. Congratulations to Terry. Um, so yes, we are live with Killer Instinct, and we are going to be starting right now. So I'm going to be pushing all this. Please, guys, share it with um, everybody in the Killer Instinct community. Get it out there. Um, let's see. I'll be commentating, so uh, things won't go too bad. I'm here for the event, so that's awesome. Great performance at Combo Breaker this past uh, this past weekend. I think so. Um, you gotta forgive me. I'm like super tired right now, guys. So that's usually the case. Every time I get on stream, I'm like, oh god, why do I have to do this? Why is this even a thing? But it is. So I really appreciate. Yeah, you're just good. Yeah, um, I really appreciate all the support. And, you know, I'm looking forward to you guys uh, going out to all the big events, like CEO, uh, you know, we got Evo coming up. Each of these tournaments have, like, a million dollars of pop bonuses, pretty much. Um, what else? Uh, CEO has $15,000, and then we have Evo with $50,000. So this is a uh, this this is going to be an exciting. It's it's already been an exciting year for Killer Instinct, which is really awesome. Um, you know, shout out to all the developers, Keats, you know, Adam Ice Green, uh, Rich, all those guys. <laughs> I'm talking like I'm drunk now. It's it's just gotten to that point, guys. It's, you know, we don't you get to a certain age, and you're up like every two every uh every single minute of the day you just pretty much die so I believe we're probably gonna go straight into it um, oh god yo this stage is hype look at this music Alright, great going straight in there, getting on those cheeks. Alright, get over, trying to bait the overhead, that not work out. Getting them locked out. Nice, good, going for the grab. Man grab is so godlike. Both players feeding each other out now, dropping the combo. Good, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. Let's go. Let's see what Greg can do. Get the cats out on him. Get the cats out on him. Let's go. What you know about them cats, son? You getting locked out? This is gonna hurt, baby. Let's go. Greg takes the first round. Good pokes by Greg. Greg basically trying to bait TJ Combo to do something. Good command grab. He's gonna take the round. Nice break. No, he doesn't. Uh oh. <laughs> we all saw this coming. Look at this. this. This game has the best fighting game music ever. Look. This makes me want to fight somebody right now. I want to throw down. Drops the combo. Both players, man. Just feeling each other out. Uh oh. Good neutral jump. Greg breaks the combo. Nice. 
Man, drops it. Man, people are people are getting them, them jitters. Good way to evade the pressure. Oh, Greg uses the cat. But beat out the armor. Very smart. Blocks him out. Gets some decent damage. 35%. Gives the cat to break him out again. Greg. Look at this. Wonder Boy Greg over here. It's still, it's still anyone's game. Now TJ Cobb is trying to bait something. You can see both players waiting patiently, filling each other out. Full wars in the back, looking gorgeous as ever. Nice. Patience. Good punish by Greg. Greg takes the first round. Great job by Greg. So the hype is real right now. These guys are trying to cheer on their friend AP right now, so... We got Charlie Boy in the house. Look at that. Giving him some orchid tips. Torquid, oh, the, the, the torquid. Look at that girl, torquid. Let's go. Good command grab. You know, this tournament's for $10,000, guys. You, you, don't, don't mess it up. Don't mess it up. <laughs> Good punish. Nice break by AP. Up. Oh, you get punished. You can't, you can't do combos. You, you gotta get punished. Look at that. Right there. That's what happens when you can't do combos. Nice. Locks him out. He's gonna get some good damage off this. Beautiful 41%. Oh, the grab. Get in that command grab. Kamehameha! That was adorable. And he still got caught by that. That was like, that was like a mile away. He still got hit. <laughs> oh, nice job by Greg. Drops the combo though. Trying to reset it. Lovely. Good punish. It drops it. Man, he's gonna just drop city over here, man. Just drop whatever the hell you think you want, man. Woo! Those cats, man. Those cats are so good. I don't think people realize it. Very good. Oh, nice. Now, TJ's gonna get an instinct, I believe. Yes. So he can still do it. TJ combos. He, he, he does some major damage. All he needs to do is take the round, mix him up with a few command grabs. Nice shadow counter. Don't waste it. I wouldn't waste it. Nice break. Very good. Takes the round. Greg knows he's got this. This is his... Greg, Greg feels he's got this, man. He's got that. I know I got this on his face. Look at that. Drops it. Comebacks. Nice break. Greg knows what to do in this matchup. He plays a, um, a lot of TJ combos online, so great work. So Greg just flushed out Ultra Tech. It's too easy. Now I just entered the game to support it. I'm not gonna play, so don't 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 get all hyped, guys. Um, so next we're going to have uh, Charlie Boy and um, Two Step. Charlie Boy and Two Step to the stage, please. Charlie Boy and two steps to the stage, please. Let's go, Charles. Good job, Greg.
Alright, so that was a good display from Greg. So again, you guys are watching Battle for Outworld. This is our uh, monthly. Uh, basically, we are hosting a monthly to cater to all the fighting games um, that everybody loves here in San Antonio. Um, we do all, you know, like I said, you see Ultra, Marvel vs. Capcom, Skullgirls, Killer Instinct, Guilty Gear, um, Mortal Kombat X, and all classic games that are actually ran on the classic arcade cabs. So we have Ultimate MK3, which is I won, by the way, uh, which is you probably knew that. Believe it or not, 18 people showed up for that tournament. And uh, Killer Instinct had 10 people, classic KI. Um, so it was pretty cool. It was legit. So anyways, um, so also we have this great event here that everybody's really excited for. Killer Instinct World Cup happens January 30th and 31st, obviously with your host, Brandon Alexander. Um, now, I want to give big shout outs to obviously um, Rick from um, Combo Breaker and obviously Alex Bailey, who's having this awesome tournament called CEO. Um, it has a $15,000 pop bonus thanks to the community KI, uh, the KI community fund. So this is really, really awesome. Um, all these events are part of the KI World Cup uh, Pro Tour. So, so we've got Charlie Boy versus uh, Two Step. And he's rocking the UA, man. That's cool. That's really nice of him. Really. A lot of the guys here in Texas really love Ultra Arcade, man. And I'm really proud of that. That's a... That's really awesome. So, he's rocking Haria. That's cool. This is the first time I've seen her in tournaments. So, this is uh, really exciting. She is probably... I mean, man. She is one of the coolest characters I've ever seen in a fighting game. This girl is like straight up like a anime slash Gundam. Well, I mean, that's still anime, but you know what I'm trying to say. I mean, this, this character is legit. Um, I cannot wait for the story. You know, shout out to Iron Galaxy and Microsoft for doing such a great job with Season 2, man. So, Two Step Man putting a beating on Aria right now. The pressure. Let's see what he knows. He knows what to do. He seems that he can break. He knows what to break. Nice. Nice. Nicely done. Good break. Yo, this music is like so sick. Those fours in the background are probably the best thing about this stage. And she's an instinct, but it's really no use right now. Now she's getting in, but it does not matter. Child Boy is comboing on her. Locks her out. He can possibly hit good damage. I don't really know how much damage he's putting out. Good 33%. I don't know if he used meter for that, but he could not tell. Nice. Lovely. Get him, girl. Get him. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So, I'm still... Her... Her, um... Bar seems to work... Kind of... Her, her health bar is kind of weird. Like... Like... Those are all, like, her health bars down there. The blue... So, if, like, you guess you punch out that thing and take... Get, you give that little... Think damage, I guess she loses the health bar I'm taking it. I'm I'm still learning guys. <laughs> so looks like he's getting her some pressure. Like seems like full work pressure. Can you punish it? Yo, that is so legit. Nice shadow counter by Charlie. Man, he is keeping this girl at bay right now. Let's go, man. This makes me want to play Aria too. Robots for life, man. the stage ultra yes we do yes the hype is real yo that's super awesome so he's sticking with uh, Cindera seems like he needs to rush her down a little more Oh, 
I always feel like such a badass when I play on this on the stage. I'm like with all this good music, all these stages. Nice. Oh, drops it. Nice. Nice counter breaker. Two step trying to take it back. Trying to put the pressure on Charlie Boy. Nice cross up. Nice counter breaker. The second two for two in this match. Let's go. Look at that damage. Woo! Where you at, Aria? Ultra who? All right. Alright, he's feeling it right now. Good mix up. Oh, tries. Tries to go for counter. Right? Getting greedy. You little greedy guy. Nice. Aria looking fabulous right now. Look at this. Look how gorgeous this lady is. Look at that. That is so cool. It seems like it. You like. Use that to avoid getting punished. Nice counter breaker. He's going to take the match. So. We are even, folks. 1-1. One, one. So I think Charlie Boy, yeah, Charlie Boy is going to character select. He's like, I wonder how long I can get away with playing with Arya. Yo, Arya is one of the coolest characters I've ever seen, man. Like, that's so legit. I'm, like, super, super excited to see characters like that. Alright, so another great stage. All these stages are good, man. That's, that's a, that's a... have this variety, this amazing roster that pretty much just got finished with Season 2, um, and the gaming mechanics are for everyone, you can play it at a, you know, it's so unique, you can play it at a, you know, beginners can jump right in, and then there's obviously a high level play inside of it that you're seeing right now, nice break by two-step, avoiding the pressure, trying to get into momentum right now, a nice, good punish, lock him out, nice break by Charlie Boy. Nice lockout. It's going to hurt. Do some decent damage. He has no meter, though. So 45%. That's still real good. He activates Instinct. He put the pressure on Orchid. Still takes the round. Wasting Instinct as we speak. Getting full screen. Throwing out random little grenade. Little footsie tool. Nice. Nice, nice. He's going to have to adjust. Locks out. Drops the combo, though. Uses the key keys to mix them up. Opens them right up. But, you know, he gets a combo breaker, so that's good. That's what's great about this game, too. I mean, if you got your combo breaker, uh, combo breaking on point, which is, in fact, in the new patch, there's a perfect training mode for it, you're going to a bad, bad way to try to punish that. And that's going to cost him. Charlie Boy takes the match. We are moving forward to the second round, guys. Let's see here. She flushed out Ultra Tech. That's the second or Orca that said that today. You know that? You guys, you guys paying attention to that? Alright, so... Uh, Julio, Julio and Sickle. Oh, yeah, Julio. Julio. So again, you know, KI is pretty much it sets, it sets the bar for fighting games. There's this new amazing shadow mode that uh, basically you can learn to grind against every player, you know, that 
you have on your friends list. You leaving? Yeah. All right, I love you, Mark. What's up? So what's up with Marvel? Is this top three? I guess it's only like twelve of us. Oh, uh, that's Rotendo. Rotendo is. Where's Rotendo? Hold on, guys. So yo, Julio rocking the adorable, the, yeah, the dirty girls, the smells like Teen Spirit skirt over here. What's up, Don P? So I believe these guys are going straight into it. Um, again, shout outs for all you guys watching. I really appreciate the support. All these guys rocking UA and supporting us. Here at Battle of Outworld. A battle of Outworld. Nice. Who is going straight in there? Block, blocked him out too. Those random button presses, man. That's not legit. Nice. Nice. Julio, man, putting on the pressure. Let's see what Glacius can do. Put the pressure on, on Sickle, mixing them up, lock them out, nice, mixes them up again, broken. Nice. Sickle trying to make a comeback. Locks him out. Mixes him oh, up again. Oh, <laughs> nice. Oh. Julio takes it. That first match. Was, the first match is godlike. Oh, Crimson, how you doing? Yo, the grab. That's how you play this match. Get that zoning. Get that zoning out of here, man. You're running in there. You're gonna get punished. Yo, 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 yo. Get all up in there. Mix that up. Mix that up. Let's go. Gets with the punch. Oh. Drops the combo though. Oh. All right. So now nah, he's trying to rush in. Get hit. Get hit. Get hit, sucker. What's up, Will? Nicely done. Play the patient game. A lot of people here are left as top four, but I'll come in right now. I'm cool to get my ass to like whatever. It's up to you guys. I don't, I don't care. Your call. Well, those guys pretty much got paid to be here, so it didn't really matter. Oh, really? Yeah, I paid for them to be here. They come down here, so it's up to you what you guys want. I don't care. It's not like they traveled and spent money to come down here. I paid for them to be, there, be here for you guys, to level you guys up. You know what I mean? That's So it's up to you guys. I don't really care, though. So have you been willing to come like more often than there's actually, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do top three from now on if you want. I'm cool, yeah, because I will be more willing because if they're like, oh man, top two good, they're going to want to come next to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even if they do keep winning, at least you level the rest of the club. Yeah, that's kind of my goal, yeah. so yeah. I'll see you, bro. Alright, so back to the game, guys. So we're 1-1.
Well, cheerleading dress. You know, he dresses like that in real life, man. We got Sickle coming in there. Let's go lock him out. He's gonna get some good damage. Look at that. You gonna take that round? Oh my gosh, he takes the round. You're dead. You're dead. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Get out of here, land before time. Get out of here. You ain't clever. Flash? I don't know. It's not good. Let's go. Nice break. We need to punish this. Oh, we get some nice puddle punch. Nice break. Flame carpet. Trying to get the Paul B tech out there, but it doesn't work. Nice. That's all he's got to do. That's all he's got to do. Sickle takes it. Oh yeah, I gotta do this. Great job by Sickle. Very, very good composure after taking that first loss. Uh, let's see. Uh, Team Style and Rotendo on setup, uh, stream setup. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna DQ myself. I only sign up just to, uh, support the game. Uh, especially when I'm commentating and streaming, so it's not like, it's not, there's no way I can enter the game and, and all that stuff. Plus, I haven't played KI, like, well, I just played KI for a little bit when Arya came out, which is great. Good character. Okay, everybody's like wearing an Ultra man. What's up? You need something? Uh, shut the door. Just have the door shut. Yeah, 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 it's fine. Um, what are you guys getting? Can I have one of those? You can take like five bucks out of the register if you want. Yeah, I need I need caffeine like that. Good, dude. Good I like well, I like vanilla bean frappuccino. I love that, but I never had an espresso shot. Yeah, that should wake you up. Oh, she, I don't know. She's out. She's doing her own thing right now. So, all right. So we've got Rotendo, our new esports team uh, general manager. So, when you guys want to be a part of T Team UA? Stop talking to me. Stop talk to that guy. Hit him up. He's a he's part of the team now. Um, we're really focusing on moving forward and and getting an esports team to support. Because at the end of the day, guys, I love the Killer Instinct community more than any other community out there. You guys know this. I'm doing what I do for you guys. Um, so um, if, if if I could do it, I would sponsor all, all of you. If I had the money, I would pay for all of you to go every single major. So that way, the turnouts are always great, always amazing. Um, you know, especially everybody in Texas, um, you know, you know, just everybody, you know what I mean? So, um, I mean, I like lost my train of thought. Oh yeah. So anyway, so, um, yeah, we're going to do the esports thing. We'll have a Call of Duty team. We'll have a Smite, League of Legends, all that weird stuff. And then, uh, we're obviously going to have the fighting game division that will be very strong, which is already strong. We have UA Base, who is rocking a Texas Showdown championship and uh, got top eight at one of the biggest Killer Instinct tournaments, period, combo breaker, and he will be at CEO, um, Rockin' UA, so, um, but yes, so this is exciting, so we have two, 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 um, beloved, um, people here, obviously Rotendo and Quincy, great, great people for the Killer Instinct community of Texas, and, um, Oh, dude. Again, these guys, this this tournament's for you guys. The Killer Instinct World Cup is the in the end all be all Killer Instinct tournament, and the, you know it's happening January 30th to the 31st, 2016. Five spot right now is ten thousand dollars. Maybe possibly it'd be more. We're, I mean, working on trying to get more sponsors and stuff like that. So, um, it's at the Fountain Blue Banquet Hall. 
you know, off San Pedro, which is real close to the arcade. Um, I'm actually am willing to relocate to, to a huge and bigger venue if I get enough support. So um, we're gonna have some cool community fun stuff too that we'll talk about soon. But anyways, let's get to this awesome match, guys. Whoa, wrong side. This is so sick. Oh man, get chopped in the face. Nice break. DP did not work out that time. It worked out the second time. When in doubt, DP. Uh. He's gotta zone him out. He can't stay in the mid-range. Nice. Nice lockout. Nice dude. Adorable 21%. Good break. Oh, dude, we're going to have a Halo team, a Gears of War team. Nicely done. Rotendo representing. But this is his first match as uh, UA, so let's see how he does. Let's go Q. Nice. Takes that round, or even. Nice. Uh, 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 let's go. Nicely done. See, he's good. He's playing a good spacing game. See, this is where he's beginning to get bodied. He can't be, uh, you know, yeah, you know, good read on that, but, you know, you don't want to be playing this close to Thunder, man. I mean, Rico Slavi will tell you. Any Glaciers player will tell you, like, we don't want to be in with Thunder. Nobody wants to be in with Thunder. No matter who you are, man. Nice break. Shuba Duba. Nice. Rotendo takes the first match. <laughs> Him and his Terminator sunglasses. Oh, good. That stop is so awesome. Gears, yes, for life. Call of Duty and League of MOBA experience as well. Every percentage, uh, every bit, every bit of money that we make off the team um, is just gonna go straight, 100% back into the team. So nice, good choice. Rotendo playing really well right now. He needs to keep him out. Quit jumping in, man. This guy's like risky. He's he's fighting him head on. He's doing this on purpose to waste that instinct, obviously. But he is just like, I, I, I'm better than you, and I'm going to show you why. I'm, you know. Nice. Can't punish like that. Um, you know, if, if you counter destroy it, Cole's for it, yes. Very way, good break, my Rotendo. He's got to keep, keep him out. Gotta zone that dude. Gotta zone it. Yes. Nice. Locks him out. Out in that combo, but good job. So Thunder can still come back. He's got full meter. He almost has instinct. He can get it back really easy. How about two more hits? And he has it back. And the one more hit. Jeez. So he has instinct. Two meters. He can kill Glacius at any time. Look at that. Great choice. And then he's got a good potential mix-up. Wastes the meter, though. He's going to get punished for this. I would have actually just grabbed him and he would have been dead. But whatever. I don't, I don't, you know, I don't play Glacius. But very good. Rotendo takes the first match. So. All right. So Rotendo. Two O's. Q style. Wait, I just, I just, I just said. All right, so who we're gonna have next? Greg. 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 You're up against uh, Sean. Yeah. Yeah, Dave Bickerson. So. Let me see, I'm getting Greg back up here. 
fighting uh, Sean, one of her friends. Two uh, Ultra Arcade natives here. So how many of you guys want Ultra Arcade shirts, man? I found, uh, you know, I found out some some cool stuff. I've got some extra shirts. Uh, I need Q. I need Q style AP on this setup right here. You're about to play. Sorry. Q style. You're playing right now. Q style. Quincy. You're playing on on this setup. <laughs> Wow. Oh, okay. I was like, wait, I don't remember playing. Oh, I just signed up there. Yeah, to support yeah. the game. So. Oh, that'd be nice to play. It'd have been awesome. Huh? It'd have been nice to play. It'd have been awesome. Oh, yeah. I just don't have time. That's the thing. You guys leaving? Alright. Bye, guys. Bye. Hey, uh, did you ever update the KO World Cup page fully? No, no, actually, yeah, yeah, I just whenever you get a chance to do it, I guess. I was playing tricks. Actually, yeah, yeah well, whatever. I mean, I was just saying, like, some of it, like, people were telling me it was halfway done. I was like, oh, I don't know. So I thought you had finished it already. So yeah, I no, no I, I knew I've been playing with something like, no, no, I've got to get your ass. It's fine. I have to, I have two more things to send you. So I have to have more to have with anyways. Okay, that's way too Top 32 from last month. We gotta put on there too. Okay. I'll send you all that. Okay. So and then I'll get combo breaker too. Combo breaker. Is okay. Plus, CD Junior immediately qualifies for winning. So maybe we should put like pictures or oh, something. You, you want combo breaker? Combo, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. It's a, it was a combo flash. Oh. Okay, so they get major points like top eight. Okay. Cool. Oh. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll ring you up in a minute. I, I have to, I have to compensate. I'll ring you up in a minute. Yeah, go ahead and play whatever you want. Oh, okay, that's fine. I'll let you bring it. You got two people want to play it today. What's up guys, it's Charlie.
Oh, thanks, guys. Awesome. I should have these guys commentate, because I don't want to do this. Yo, Craig's been stepping it up, man. What's up? Off, oh, I love you, Corey. So, um, for points for street bars, we just wanted to make a, a great thing, like, so, top eight or everybody gets points, how do you do that? Top six. Yeah, everybody gets points, but, like... How do you want to play the point system? So, um, I... Sorry about that. Really hard. Running a business, making bubble tea, bringing up customers, running a tournament, commentating, and Greg is going in. Get in there, Greg. Greg. Yes, Greg. Look at that. All that hard work for 26%. But still, it's worth it. He's opening her up. Nice break by Dig Bickerson. What's up, B? Nice. Uh, all right. These guys must have, <laughs> must have just adjusting to Greg's play. Greg takes the second match. Great job. Buddy. Hey, uh, Charlie boy. Hey, Greg. 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 Fight, Charlie boy. Yeah. Good luck, Greg. You got this, man. So now, the two orchids of Texas are fighting right now to the death for Asgard. I'm really excited because Greg's been working really hard, been practicing, trying to step it up. Oh, okay, okay. He, you won? Yeah. Yeah, alright. So, um, yeah, so I'm really excited for this match. Hey, Pete. Hey, Pete, you fight Julio right there. Jake, I guess you fight two steps right here. You fight, you fight, uh, Sean right here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, alright. Alright, sorry. Just trying to get this tournament on all going. So again, oh, well, thank you for joining, man. Walk it. Walk it. <laughs> well, you guys are missing out, man. This has been a great tournament. This is the last tournament of the day. Um, you know, it's been it's been a super great event. I don't know what your boy is, but it's somebody that wants to change the honey buns. I don't have any honey buns. Yeah, I don't have any honey buns. All right, so let me go get this guy changed. Guys, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to go away. But I'll be right back. No plastic cinder up in the house. Alright, I'm back. 
All right, dude. So yes, we got the cool dude. This is like one of the coolest costumes in the entire game. Classic Cinder and one of the coolest characters in the game. Fulgore's like beautiful woman, Lady Fulgore. Oh yeah. Let's see how he does. Let's see how he does. Good. Try to mix her up. Uh, yeah, I'll be at the uh, arcade. I'm here like every day, man. My life is just at Ultra and then trying to make the business better. Nice! Look at this! Look at this! Let's go! Man, this dude, this costume makes me want to play Cinder. Hey man, it's all good, man. You gotta just come out here whenever you get a chance, man. Everybody will level each, uh, each other up. That's how we do things here. You know, there's no judging and, you know, talking crap about people, man. Everybody here, um, like in MK, MK, um, believe it or not, it's a very gorgeous community here. Like, we take care of each other. Everybody here is actually decent. Everybody's good. And uh, same with KI, man. KI is, um, you know, a very popular scene here. Obviously, KI and MK are, like, the top games for... Ultra, and they'll always be. Um, then we got the Street Fighter community and stuff like that. So feel free, man, to stop by, man. Don't feel, uh, you know, that you'll you uh, you won't stand a chance or anything, man, because you'll be surprised, man. Dude, I want Cinder to win, man. I'm, I'm being biased just because that that sick costume. Nice grab. He's setting him up with the, uh, you know, I haven't even seen, I don't even know if he's at four, like, these little, these little balls, like, he's just throwing these cheese, he's throwing these little blue cheese puffs, puffs on people, he throws those little cheese puffs on you, that's adorable. So now they're just playing footsies, feeling each other out, good, Greg can open up, he needs ultra drop, ah, it's broken, man. Oh! Throw cheese puffs! The cheese boost! Dang, they should keep out. Ooh, nice! Good patience by Charlie! <laughs> that levitate? That levitate is adorable. That's very rude. Is he gonna go? Is he? Oh yes, he's rocking Cinder. Yes, sticking with it, throwing the cheese poofs. Get those cheese puffs on him, man. Get those cheese puffs. Those Matrix sound waves. What is this? Nice. The cheese puff. Nice anti air. Good, get some of the combo. It's broken. Good pressure by uh, by Charlie Boy right now. Reminds me of the little footballers like knee eye laser pressure. Jumping hunch. Get some. Lock him out. Lock him out. Yes, locks him out. Get some decent damage. Doesn't seem to go with a damage ender. Only does 44%. Still real good though. Takes the round. So locking him out while he's in instinct. Huh? Okay. Tries a shadow counter, but drops it. Locks him out. 
It's a nice job by Greg right now. I love Cinder, man. The two, two new characters released in action right now. You guys are watching this live. Oh, basically, you just come and sign up at Ultra. And, um... And, uh, yeah, it's just five bucks for the uh, menu and five dollars per game. The monthlies are ten dollars per game. So, basically, max fifteen, uh, normal prices during the week, uh, ten dollars total. So, nice! You know, even when, uh, Sinner's getting bodied, he still looks awesome. Like, super awesome. <laughs> So Greg's going to have to change up his gameplay right here. Gets in there. I think he can still do this, but uh, it's going to be really, really hard. He's going to have to open him up, mix him up, doing a great job of that right now. Drops out with cross up. Let's see what he can do. Let's see what he can do. Oh, I mean, he's got achievements. Alright. So, Charlie Boy takes it. Alright. I need Sickle and Rotendo on on the stream setup. Right. Yes, sir. No. I'm just kidding. I only need two setups, so we're fine. Greg! 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 You fight Julio right here. Damn, man, I love the mini Cinder, man. That looks so cool. It's all good. I know you're just learning them, but dude, like, you make them, you make me want to play KI again. It's like, even I was like, I, was, I just said, I was like, even though Greg's losing, like, it still makes me want to win. Like, I, I feel like he's winning by his good looks. He's like, yeah. yeah, he looks cool, dude. These guys are still playing, so. Alright. So we have Sickle and Rotendo. Two Glacius. Man, this is gonna be intense. So yeah, who else we missed K MK earlier? MK was actually extremely hype. Um John and uh, um Betty were in grand finals. And it was, you know, Summer Quan Chi versus Hollywood Cast Cage. And those matches went down to the wire, man. They were like, it was hype. Um, well obviously, Killer Instinct's always hype. So, we have Purple Slushy Glacius versus uh, Black Licorice. Black Licorice is getting punished. Should know his own tech. Nicely done. Locks him out to get some good damage off this. Take the round. And Sickles with a uh, very comfortable lead right now. Nice counter breaker. Rotendo is going to pay for this right now, man. Oh, my goodness. Take it, baby. Take it. Let's go. Greatest fighting game on the best next generation console the, oh my god the calibrators man yes huh okay cool alright guys I'm gonna be right back hold on Oh, I'm 
Sorry guys, back again. All right, so I believe Sickle won the last match. This was pretty close, pretty close. Nice, oh good punish. Rotindo's gonna feel it. Nice grab. Rotindo can take it. Rotindo, he needs to get that hail up. Get that hail up. Oh, he knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. No, you can't do anything without that hail, baby. Oh, you're gonna feel it. Nice. And Rotindo, man. Showing people what's up. Yo, what's up? What's up, Zerg? Battle for Ultra Tech. Still anyone's game. Good punish by Sickle. Locks him out. We get some decent damage. Has no meter to do anything else. Nice 28%. He throws him out of the corner. He gets himself put in the corner, but punished. Oh, bad punish. Nice grab. Both players in each other's faces, man. This is like, this is so different. So different from Glacius play. Usually this matchup is kind of extremely boring, but both players are playing it pretty hardcore. In each other's faces, Rotendo wants in there. Like, he wants in there. Look at that. Drops the combo, gets a grab. Good break by Sickle, man. That was a good read. Nicely done. Good patience on Sickle's part. Nice, so we're pretty much even right now. Rotendo can come back from this. He needs to get some good damage. Oh, but falls right into a counter breaker. Let's go. Nice, look at that damage, 62%. He's gonna get hit by the hail. It's gonna cost him all that chip. Rotendo has nothing he can do at this point. Great job by Sickle. So Rotendo, man, actually playing pretty well. So, uh, oh, sorry. Okay, so next we're going to have winner's finals, and it's going to be Charlie Boy versus Sickle on stream right now. Houston versus Houston. It's going to be hype. You guys are going to love it. It's going to be the dream of Killer Instinct. All right, I need Sickle and, uh... Charlie Boy on stream. I need Rotendo and Sean right here. Rotendo, you guys play right here. All right. Again, guys, you are watching Battle for Outworld. This is a kilo. Uh, this is uh, Ultra Arcades uh, monthly, where we have a variety of games. Um, whether it's Skullgirls, Guilty Gear, MKX, Killer Instinct, Marvel vs. Capcom, Street Fighter, all the great games. So we got some tournaments coming up as well. We have CEO, which is an official Killer Instinct World Cup qualifier, but it's a premier event, which is a combo clash. So that means not only do you have a, a great chance to get $15,000, $15,000 is up for grabs thanks to the KI Community Fund, but 
you immediately qualify for the end all be all killer instinct of uh, <laughs> the end all be all of killer instinct tournaments, the Killer Instinct World Cup. So this is going to be happening January 30th, the 31st, 2016, for $10,000 prize pot. Um, hopefully, we get some more sponsors, raise up the money, um, get a little higher for you guys. But uh, CEO is happening this month, uh, June, actually, not this month, sorry, excuse me. That was June already. Uh, so spoiled with getting characters early. Oh. Sorry, Greg. I'm sorry about that. I'm just like, I'm always want Greg to do good, but. Good job, Julio. Julio for life. Um, all right. But yes, it's happening June 26th to the 28th. And it's going to be one of the hypest tournaments of the year. So you guys got to get out there. You got to go to CEO. Sign up for Killer Instinct. There's $15,000 of for grabs, guys. This is ridiculous. Right now, it's more than the KI World Cup. Like, come on, man. Like, I want to see at least 200 people there. If I see 200 people there, I'll I'll, I'll do something so, so godlike for the KI community. And... At CEO, I'll make a, a big announcement and everything. You guys just gotta show up. You show up, we'll make this happen. So, anyways, Charlie Boy versus Sickle. We got we got Queen Fulgore over here versus Slush Puppy Glacius. Locks him out early. Drops the combo though. Good way to kind of zone him out in a sense. Yo, this stage is hype. This music makes me want to fight. Nicely done. Let's get in there. Get some decent damage. Potential mix-up. Good cross-up. What the? I've never seen that. Yo. Nice counter breaker. Oh, the damage is going to be too real. This guy doesn't even have meter right now. Look at this. 77% by Odin's beard. Another counter breaker, two for two. Uh, 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 uh. She about to die. Everybody gonna die. Let's go. Nice little pressure right there, but she gets it up on him. Trying to lock him out. Yes, she succeeds. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, that jumps pretty fast. Good space between both players. Nice! Is she done? Is she done? Alright, she is one hit, she's gone. Woo! Nice re nice read by Charlie Boy. Might have to oh Locks her out again. Locks him out again. Oh man, this is scary. Scary. Sigil seems to be a little frightened, but he's got hail up. One hit and she's done. What's up, Tim? So, Sigil takes the first match. It seems like Charlie Boy is going to his faithful lady, Orchid. My, uh. I think this is actually an extremely bad matchup for <laughs> they see it, so yeah, it's not that big of a deal. So uh, these guys are like repping these awesome uh, combo, exclusive combo breaker shirts that you will not be able to find anywhere else um, unless you went to combo breaker. Exclusive Ultra Arcade shirts. Next year, we're going to try to go all out and make a bigger, awesome presence at Combo Breaker. So, nice. He knows how this, he knows how it is. He knows how it is. Good break.
Another good break. Nice shadow counter. She's going to feel it. Oh, man, he's going to take that round. Easy, easy, easy take. Look at that round. Commanding lead. Should have went with the Orchid, I think. But maybe he knows the Orchid a little better. Uh oh. For the hunt, baby. For the hunt. Let's go. Get in there, Beyonce. All the single ladies. Oh, you dropping combos. You got to be. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. Nice cross up, man. That's adorable. Look how look how slow that is. People are like, you watch it happen. Like, oh man, he misses the shadow counter. Get the mantis. Nice, beautiful. Locks him out. Uh oh, uh oh, locks him out. Get some hard damage. He needs to get another mix up. He needs to stand a chance. Nice counter breaker. And he takes it. Look at this. Three out of five, by the way. Just let you know. This is winners finals for people that don't know how to live life. So, he's obviously switching to Orchid, which is, I knew he should have done that from the get-go. But he likes to play other characters, which is good. All these characters are viable, so why not? Oh my gosh. Obviously, shout-out to Mark, shout-out to Mark, man. Mad Cats, for all their awesome support. The, the you know, it's great to have them part of the Killer Instinct World Cup. Um, they're gonna make. Uh, I'm gonna make sure they have a big presence there. So get I support Mad Cats, the best sticks, best controllers, best everything, best headsets ever. Period. Oh yeah, we need to get that stage ultra. Look at that! Look at that! Look, Charlie Boy's like, I don't even, I don't even play games. Like I'm gonna, you're, you're gonna die. Like, oh, now he's starting to get the mix-ups. Oh, breaks the armor and locks, locks him out. Look at that. Ooh. That makes me sick. <laughs> Patience. Whatever. Look at that. Ends the round. Smart choice by Sickle. Good read. Ooh. Woo! Dang. Waste meter, though. Well. Oh, yes, it's all right. Well, Markman has stated that they do have some big plans for it, so hopefully uh, you guys will be happy. Nice. Keeps him in the corner. Good way to evade and get some good defense. Reverse the momentum, but gets broken. Now Sickle's sit, sitting alright. He's got he still has instinct. He does really good. This matchup's still kinda I feel like it, it's it's bad for Orchid. Nice. And Sickle free O's. Charlie Boy. So that's he sends Charlie Boy to losers. Which is uh always sad because Charlie Boy's a sweetheart. Now we're just waiting on this match, which is anyone's game. So right now I'm just going to go ahead and take a bit of a break and, well not really take a break, yes this is me, sorry. I am not myself today obviously because I'm super tired, but this event that you guys are uh, watching is called Battle for Outworld, it's our monthly event that we have here every month um, at Ultra Arcade. This, um, basically we have rankings for each tier of the game, and, um, oh, uh, hold on one second. You won? Rotendo, you're on stream, buddy. Good job, good job, Rotendo. Uh, Julio, you're up on stream against Rotendo. So, two UA patrons right here are, uh, are gonna be playing right here.
on the stream. But uh, I'll explain the, how the monthlies work. I'm only one man. It's a lot harder than than you guys think to run a stream and the arcade and all this stuff. So please forgive me. Um, anywho, uh, so yes, so Battle for Our World. This is uh, basically each game, each respected game, gets um, points, kind of. It's kind of like similar to the... I, I love you too, Tim. Um, like, similar to the KO World Cup. But um, everybody gets points. So top 16, they obviously get some some great points. But everybody else at least gets one point after top 16. Um, these points are going to determine rankings on where you you uh, stand amongst the community. Um, here at, uh, in San Antonio. And uh, everybody can come, out, come down here and be a part of it. Um, so it's not just, you know, just for San Antonio, but this also helps me determine, okay, if someone really needs help getting to a major, I'm going to look at my leaderboards and be like, look, man, you're showing up, you're coming out every month, um, you're coming out to the weeklies, you're earning points, um, I'm going to go ahead, you're, 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 you're top eight in, in a ranking full of 30 people, and, uh... I'm going to go ahead and give you a sponsorship for, for just this event and send you out see how you do. You know, this is kind of a way that, you know, Dave and I can pretty much determine who can, uh, you know, who, who we, we can get out there. Cause we, our, our, our job is to grow the community, whether it's Killer Instinct, Marvel, Street Fighter, Guilty Gear, you know, Skullgirls. We want to be able to send people, you know, that can't really afford it out to events. Like I said, at the end of the day, Dave and I would sponsor everybody if we could and um, yeah so anyway so that's pretty much how the these work um, so sadly I didn't get to enter because I wanted to enter Mortal Kombat today to get my, my name on the leaderboards but man I had to run all pretty much all of MK the arcade and the stream all by myself so it was really hard for me um, so yeah so that's pretty much how that works you guys are all welcome to come out this and then we have the Killer Instinct World Cup again. This is happening January 30th, 30 to 31st, 2016, for $10,000. Um, this, oh yeah, a lot of people love to earn a sponsorship with us, man, because we legit, we legit. We actually pay for everything too. <laughs> no, but uh, anyways, so uh, this is the end all, be all Killer Instinct tournament, KI World Cup. So we have Julio versus Rotendo on one of the greatest stages in Killer Instinct. The battle for third place. The dinosaur is destroying the slush puppy alien. Shipalo! Where are you at, Shipalo? The king, the br the brother of the king, the god Shin Tristan. I miss Shin Tristan so much. It's Rotendo trying to beat the beat down on Julio. Uh, Julio pretty seems it seems to know this matchup pretty well. We have a pretty Iglesias here. Obviously, David's real good, and then. Uh, and then uh, we have uh, No Good Proven, who's a great Glacius. So basically, Julio's pretty much just sitting on the lead. Don't really have to do much. Nice. Nice. Let's go. That's the counter breaker. Rotendo needs to maximize on that. Oh, was it? Oh, okay. Let's, that is so sick. You can see the detail they done. They put in the glaciers. Like you can see all the lava.
Nice. Come on, Rotendo. You can do this. You can do this. Oh, well. So Julio is basically going in and out. Good breaker by Julio. There's a flame car, but good poke to the face. Catches him. Rotendo just needs to zone him out. That's all he has to do. He can win this matchup. Nice. Ends it early. Could have done more. Hail, get the hail out. You gotta get the hail out. Oh, you blew it. Rotendo made the mistake of trying to just hit him out. I'm like, when you are at that distance, he could have had a he could have uh, had a hail out, and that would have saved him. Could have just blocked everything, got hit by hail. Good move by Rotendo. He's ending his combos a little too early, to be honest. I mean, he's going to need to do a little more damage than that. Good patience. Ah, uh, very bad mistake. He needs to catch up on this damage because Julio is basically just has a life lead again. And he's going to make Rotendo work. Not a very good decision on wasting meter. Glacius really needs meter in this matchup. Play this match. Trying to get some easy damage. Not a really good choice. Just takes the round. If he just keeps playing the same way he's playing, it's going to be good for him. Alright, so we're even. You want to stay away from Riptor. You don't want him to come in. It's too fast. Nice. Good punish on that. Drops it. Good choice on which poke to do in the air. Good air to air. Lot, do some damage! No, I, I would have uh, used my meter. Good mix up. Drops it though. He needs to break. Oh, big mistake. Thought he was going to block it. Very good choice. But breaks it. Very good by Julio. So close. So now, Julio advances to Losers Finals. Against Charlie Boy. Rotendo did get shots for Rotendo, he did great. Just made, if he would have made a few more uh, better decisions, he would have won both those matches. Those matches could have been his. Yes, it's always a sad face. Alright. So, we have some obviously we have a great tournament coming up um, this is CEO CEO has a $15,000 pop bonus thanks to the KI community fund it's happening June 26th to the 28th this year so don't be stupid and miss out um, it is also a combo clash event for the killer instinct world cup for those of you that don't know what combo clash is those are basically my uh, versions of curly that you know like yipes throws um, obviously, um, this means that it is a premier event for the Killer Instinct World Cup. So not only do you have $15,000 up for grabs, you immediately qualify for the KI World Cup if you win this event. Um, and also, top 16 gets major points. 
there's no other tournaments that I sanction um, that get more points, pretty much. So if you're a sanctioned event, you don't even get half, uh, like, you don't even get half of what Combo Clash um, offers. So, um, we have some more sanctioned tournaments that we are going to announce soon. Um, I have a few, so stay tuned. So we have Charlie Boy and Julio. You know, this is Jurassic Park. Oh, Combo Clash Japan. No, no, Combo Clash Japan is going to be October. Where is that? Alright, we gotta get that situated. I forgot about putting that flyer up. But you're right, Shapalo, you're, you're the hero right now. Alright, so Julio's going straight in there now. I've been taking a lot of damage. <laughs> Witcher 3, that game's pretty good. Locks, locks him out. Oh man, he takes around. Yes, he does. Charlie boy, man, on fire with Maya right now. Good pressure. The carpet. Nice. Basically, my my is sitting on a very healthy life lead right now, and she's almost got full pips. She's got a good uh, quarter of a meter uh, left to build. All right, well, well, yes, well, Shapalo, like Combo Clash Japan is happening. I just forgot to put the the slide on today's thing, so it's my bad. But uh, it's better to market um, Clash is happening coming month, so. Um, Anyway, so Julio answers back. He's not out with a fight. He's not going to back down. He never backs down. He's the land before time. What a terrible way to punish a DP. Gets locked out. Getting body, 22%. Good little poke. Another little poke. Nicely done. So, Charlie Boy takes it. That first round. And this, for those that people don't know, this is Loser's Finals. So it's 3 out of 5. A lot of people here watching. It's pretty uh, interesting. People don't know about KI, but they, they're watching Killer Instinct right now. So the scene has been growing, ladies and gentlemen, because of Killer Instinct. Yes, I'll make sure it's, a, it's October 24th to the 25th. That's those are the days. So um, that's that's when the when it is. So who was trying to answer back, putting the pressure on Maya, making it very agitating to deal with her, throwing a random. Nice break by Julio. Trying to keep the momentum in his favor because he needs to. Very momentum-based characters on both ends. Yo, that military life. Thank you for your services. That is why I love your brother and you to death. You are family to Ultra. One day I'm going to sponsor you both. You just got to be Rico at Evo. The end all be all. The God of Thunders. Oh, you will? So, see you. <laughs> nice. Good pressure by Julio. Still has the life lead. Spearly locks him out. Drops the combo. Trying to mix him up. Oh. Uh oh. Uh, oh, wow. Still catches. Why you ain't blocking scrub? You're blocking like a little scrub. Alright, so he has no daggers. So, that's, that's very good. You want her to, like, basically not be able to have those things, so... Oh, well, you know, we don't always get what we want. So, Julio takes that match. So, 1-1 one, one in, in Losers Finals. Julio answers back. 
with the land before time. So we go to character select. Look at that. Look at that beautiful full roster. Oh my gosh. That was exciting. So he's going to Orchid now. Let's see what he can do. Let's see what he plans to do about the land before time. This is a 3 out of 5 set. So we will still have enough chance if he can't adjust to Orchid. Nice lockout. He's already ahead by half a health bar and more. Locks him out again. I really like that Julio is uh is leveling up with uh with Rictor. Oh yeah, that's true. I forgot about that. Done. Like come back city right there. Look at that, 61%. Catches him with a DP. Key key mix ups. Uh oh, what happens first? Obviously the DP. That's the thing. It's the end of the DPs will end World War Three. DPs will end World Hunger. That that's the uh, the end all be all thing, you know. Good little footsie tool. Trying to jump in there, gets punished, baited him out. Oh, went for a grab when he was hard like 50 feet in the air. Bad mistake. Trying to take the round, get get some momentum off this. Chip him out. Wow, still catches him. Oh, locks him out. Gonna get some good damage off this. Uh oh, recapture? Is it gonna happen? Is this happening? Oh, he wants to get as much damage as possible. Ends it. Still has a big chance to come back from this. He's on he's on the flame carpet. Good overhead. Didn't see that coming. Locks him out. He gets some more damage. We're even. But now. Charlie Boy has instinct, and he just activated it, and he's gonna catch him. He just needs to break it. Nice break by Julio. Good cats. Good cats. That's it. That is it. So Charlie Boy making Julio think. <sighs> so, what is Julio gonna do? Did he just pick his nose and eat it? That's disgusting. That is the grossest thing I've ever seen. After this tournament, he's banned from Ultra. <laughs> I mean, when you have this pressure, you're already down two. You're down two one. You just need to win two more matches, uh, which is possible. Definitely possible with one of the best characters in the game. I feel like this is just a reincarnation of Keats. That's when I see Keats I see Spinal, so that's that's all that's all I gotta say about that. Uh, Keats is King Spinal. Alright. So let's see how he does. I haven't seen a spinal in some time. Tech grab. Good punish. Good break. The reflexes of both players right now are godlike. Julio trying to bait something. Good grab. Gets a skull. Pretty much... Pretty much wasted. So, it seems like Orca's just keeping uh, Julio at bay right now. Nice shadow counter, though. Locks him out. Good choice of manual. Gets some decent damage. Gets more... Bellfire skull, man. Like... Woo! Uh oh, uh oh, gets locked out too though. See, he's gonna feel it. He's gonna get some hit for some damage. Look at that, 62%. Good teleport read, but should have should have did more than that. Need to capitalize on all this stuff. This Orchid will come back in two seconds. He 
Rubio takes that round. The cats are coming. Good punish by Charlie Boy. Nice break by Julio. Beautifully done. Nice. Nice shadow counter. Oh, he's going to feel it. Locks it out. Oh, man, he's definitely going to feel this. Beautiful 52%. Teleports out of the cartwheel. Bones everywhere. That's how Keith sleeps at night. You walk into his bedroom and you just see bags of bones. He's just like dead. Look at that damage. 51%. So fast. So easy. Good grab. Wade the cats and get some decent damage and a skull. And evens it up with 2-2 in losers finals so this is hype so let's see what they choose to do go straight into the match think about what they're gonna do I just don't know I just don't know all right he's going straight back into it I would have uh, chilled a little bit more to get my focus but uh I'm not Charlie boy so yeah, he's getting all the momentum right now. Building meter, getting some good damage, good grab, mixing it up. That's all he's doing right now. Re rinse or repeat, this is what he's doing. But he ain't falling for that again. Nah. Julio ain't gonna fall for that. Aria. Nice lockout, so he gets some good damage. And Agonos would just, uh So, Charlie Boy is like taking this convincingly right now. He's making Julio work. Let's see what he can do. Man, he's got to get them, them rushdown mix those better, man. He's got to base it. Where's base at? Good teleport. Great break. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, man. I was going to say, what? Oh man, I love Agonos. Agonos is one of my favorite characters. It's just, I don't know how he would do in that matchup. So, Spinal seems like he's obnoxious in that matchup. Good teleport. Takes the round. Needs to use this for momentum. Because he's got nothing really. He's got two skulls, uh, no meter, losing health, gets locked out, no instinct. He can get instinct back. He can easily come back from this. He's got to make the right reads. But it looks like. It's not gonna happen. It drops combos. Oh, should I would have would have teleported right there. So Charlie Boy takes it, and Charlie Boy hits to to the great grand finals. Congrats to Julio on making third place. So. You know, was, these are some great matches too. You know, it's been, like all day. It's been down to the wire. So, so we got that godlike Glacius here. Sickle man. I'm excited. Wow, how can you not love Gla uh, uh, Agonos? Man? Agonos is sick. He's awesome. Look at that beautiful roster, man. Look at all the experiences we've been through in the past year. We have, look at season one, look at season two. I mean, this game's come a long way, man. I mean, it, it, there's a season three and eight more characters. Then eight more stages. That means more, more, more hype. This game is gonna be, it, it, this game's the future of fighting games. So these guys are going to go straight into it. I know it. And they play each other all the time. Like, yo, goes up, pokes him in the face. This is like a straight up woman just punches him in the mouth. Look at that. Dang. Gets locked out. Tries to bait the counter breaker, but fails. Locked out himself. Oh, good grab. He made a little adorable grenade. <laughs> Oh no, no confirmed to season 3. I hope so though. Maybe E3 will have the hype. 
Man, I wish I could make it, man, but I actually couldn't get tickets this year. Nice counter breaker. Charlie Boy pushing it in there. Yeah, he's, remember, Charlie Boy has to win six matches. That is an uphill battle for uh, Orchid, especially in this matchup. Future means a lot of things. Shadows, netcode. I mean, you know, big. You know, we got big money, son. Big money. Happiness now. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yo, Charlie Boy is like eating this this slush puppy alive. Very smart read. Charlie Boy takes the first match of this grand final set. So we're going straight into it again. Nice. Good grenade throw. It's broken. Nice lockout. It's gonna get some good damage. Oh, I thought it would be like 30%. Of course, pretty good. No meteor. Nice shadow counter. That seemed lucky to me, but whatever. <laughs> I think he really felt it. He's like, oh, nice poke into uh, a puddle punch. Interesting. He's getting locked out. That damage is chipping him away, man. 53%. Man, it's like hard to watch how much damage this girl does. So easy. Kick kick to the shins. Oh man, I hope I hope my yourself does it, man. After all this KI stuff, man, you know, I, you know I, I'm you know I'm all about all about Microsoft, man. Microsoft's number one. That's all. You know, I used to be a Nintendo fanboy. Nah, Microsoft the number one right now, man. So I want the Xbox win to win the console war, everything. And I usually hate stuff like that, console war stuff. But you know what? Nah, they're the one helping out the community. So sickle answers back, punches the Fanta girl in the face. Good breaker. Immediately good great way to start the momentum. Bad DP. Oh, oh, good use of the hail. Well, both players play each other a lot, so this is why it's like a you know, high-level match, because everybody knows they know each other. They know exactly what they're gonna do next. And now they just gonna try to play differently. They gotta, you know. They got a surprise. Mix it up. Locks them out. Gonna get some great damage. Nice. Almost enough taking around. Really just needs to let the hail hit him. Still trying everything he can. Good air to air. Cats are out. The cat's out of the bag. Nice break by Sickle. Smooth. Nicely done. Oh, I'm sure you play as uh, I don't know. You play Shapalo. Are you? Yeah. How's this say? Are you? Nicely done, man. Sickle. Showing what's up. All he has to do is win one more, and this is this is it. This could be the end all for Battle for Outworld today. Charlie Boy has to switch it up. What's he gonna do? Is he gonna rock Arya? He want Arya. Is he gonna pick Arya? Let's see if he picks Arya. I don't know how she does in this match. Maybe he's gonna make people happy. What's up? It's good. This is a lot. This grand final. So once I'm done, I'll be able to like hang out with you and stuff. No, no, I, I did just to support it, but I, I can't play. 
right now, like, because I'm trying to commentate and do the brackets. Maybe some other time. Huh? What's up? What's up? Oh, those are from Houston. Yeah. Sorry, guys. So, he's going with Cindera. Whatever. I don't even care anymore. I'm turning off the stream. Alright, so at least it's on the Aria stage. That's all that matters to me right now. This music is hype. Right, let's see what Charlie can do to answer back. Let's get all the pressure put on him. All the pressure... Finished round, but can't. Didn't have enough meter. Nice. All you need is a poke to the face. Look at those beautiful full war machines back there. Are those UA full wars? Let's go. UA full war hype. Nice. Man, Charlie Boy is getting hit hard. Nice. Look how gorgeous this is. Man, he's sicker with the mix-ups. Yo. Could this be it? Could this be it? Charlie boy. Let's go, baby. Oh, the autocorrect didn't exist. Oh, one more hit. He's, he's done for. <laughs> I'm gonna tell him for sure. I was actually thinking the same thing. I was like, oh, you don't do this. So, Sickle is your battle for Outworld Killer Instinct Champion. Congrats to this this awesome man, Sickle representing Texas here at Ultra Arcade. What a great tournament this was. Awesome, and it's finally over. And I say that because I'm running pretty much almost everything except for Street Fighter and Marvel. Thank goodness. Shouts to Corey Shaw and Mark Anthony for their great help. Um, Shouts to, obviously, Combo Breaker. Rick, you, you're the man. Such a successful event. Obviously, Alex Dupaley for supporting Killer Instinct, being such a good community manager and running one of the best tournaments of all time, CEO. Which is, you will see me there this year, for sure, at CEO. Shouts to Mad Cats. Uh, Mark, man, you've been doing great wonders for the community for years. Tech and scene, everything like that. Obviously, for most, uh, obviously for the most part, I have uh, been doing the best I can for Killer Instinct, man, and it's just gonna keep getting better, man. I'm just super, super happy and excited to to see the future of Killer Instinct. Shouts to Iron Galaxy and Microsoft Studios for doing such an amazing job. Like seriously, these guys have done so so much great work on this game, and they're giving back to the community. And shouts to the community. You guys are pretty much the whole reason why CEO, Combo Breaker, and you know whatever events are next have full support. You guys are the ones that did it, and we you know I can't I can't thank you enough because I'm doing what I did because no one else was doing this. You know what I mean? I'm doing the Killer Instinct World Cup because no one else was doing it. And now, all the premier events for this event are getting outrageous pop bonuses. $10,000. $15,000. I mean, this is amazing. You know, so, Killer Instinct World Cup's happening January 30th to 31st, 2016. Um, there's $10,000 uh, pri uh, prize spot. Excuse me. It's at the Fountain Blue Banquet Hall. And, uh... <laughs> and uh, oop, let's see and then we have the great CEO that's coming up so this is a combo clash so if you win this event you immediately qualify not only do you have uh, $15,000 up for grabs you can qualify for the end all be all killer instant tournaments so 
We do have another combo clash that is happening in San Antonio, Texas on November 7th. This is on a Saturday. So, this is a Extra Life event. People that don't know what this is, this is basically just to raise money for kids. Um, this is at the arcade. So if you want to see arcade, the arcade in its full glory once all the renovations are done and stuff like that, please come out to San Antonio on November 7th in 2015. Um, winner does qualify. There's no huge big pop bonus for this. Um, I don't have the uh, thing for Combo Clash Japan, I don't think, up. So I'm going to go ahead and put that up real quick. Um, I believe it's in the KI... What? That's the Valentine's Day thing. What is this? Uh, man, let me find this real fast. I know it's up here somewhere. Boom. Yeah, this is the Killer Instinct uh, tournament in Japan. Now, um, this isn't the final flyer uh, anymore, obviously. We have some more art that's coming on to this. But this is happening October 24th to the 25th, 2015 in Japan. Now, this event is going to have two qualifying spots. So, first place and second place qualify immediately for the Killer Instinct World Cup. And they get the same amount of points that they would at any other Comic Clash, obviously. Um, not only are you in one of the... And you're playing with the, cha the top 15 best Japanese players. So, um, anyways... Again, this was Battle for Outworld. I really appreciate you guys watching and supporting the, the stream. Please give us a follow. Follow me on Twitter at Ultra Odinson. You guys are really, really awesome. I'll put it in chat uh, for those that don't know. Uh, this is, you know, my Twitter. If you have any questions regarding the KI World Cup, um, just hit me up. So, uh, anyways, guys, I'm going to tell Charlie Boy that he should not have p picked... Orchid, um, rub, rub it in his face. Um, if you guys need anything, please hit me up on Twitter. Again, thank you guys so much. We love you. Shout out to David for all his support and all of the guys, the TOs that helped me ran the events today. And they take them all. You'll buy me sake. Like in Japan, or? That's cool, man. Um, I've been to Japan, so I'm alright. I don't, I don't want it. Sake, I, yeah, I'm good. I'm like, I thought you said steak at first, and I was like, oh, oh, well, it's, it's sake. Anyway. Anyways, thank you guys. Thank you, Will. I hope to see you soon, sir. I'm, uh, you know, I'm streaming playing Mortal Kombat, but the online netcode's so garbage. Like all I do is just I uh, sit in training mode all day. I don't even go online. All right, guys. I'm cutting it, cutting off today. If you need anything, please let me know. Love you guys. Peace.